Hi guys, welcome back to another FSC video. The weather is not great today. It's raining and we are still on 12.3.6. I have put some directions for uh, the store here. I'm going to Lowe's right now. So I just wanted to show you uh, how it's gonna work in the rain. I have made a few videos about on a different route. So we are going through a different route today. Also, I request you guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I see a lot of you guys watch these videos, but uh, you know it, it really is gonna help if you guys subscribe too to you know reach a wider audience. With that being said, I'm already getting a message that full self-driving may, may be degraded, uh, which is normal. It's just a warning for now. Like I didn't notice any issues uh, in the past when the weather was bad. It was still working fine. So we'll see uh, how it's gonna perform today because the rain is picking up as well, as you can see. For my FSD settings, again, I haven't changed uh, much. So since the last time I made the video, I still have like the assertive settings and um, you know, my pedal is on plaid since this is a Model S plaid. And then uh, my automatic speed offset setting is on as well. So automatic speed offset, basically if it's on, It'll determine uh, the speed automatically based on what it feels like it's more natural. So I have covered that topic in uh, my last video. Uh, if you guys want to have a look at that, like just have a check and I have explained that in that video as well. Okay, so this warning is not going away, it's still there is poor weather detected also gonna keep an eye on how many times I have to touch the yoke during this drive so I think it happened two times already Let's see if we're gonna get more notifications I am really appreciating all the feedback and comments that you are giving on my videos. I'm learning more too from some of the feedback that you guys are providing. And then uh, also like I'm showing you live demonstration as well how this thing is working on like a daily scenario where you'll be using it while you're going to the office, dropping your kids to school or um, you know having a longer commute or going anywhere else as well most of my videos are focused on the local you know driving where i think the fsd truly shines even in this kind of weather uh you know as you can see everything is like working fine and i see there is a road closure ahead so it'll be a perfect perfect example to see how fsd is going to react so there is a cop car there i think there's an accident or something so we'll see what happens let's see how FST is gonna react I'm gonna try not to intervene unless I really have to Got a good feeling it's just gonna stop so let me see okay as you guys see nothing is happening i'm gonna give it a few more seconds let's see if something happens okay. nope it's not doing anything i'm just gonna take over oh wow this is like car has got total here people are on the street uh, seems like people got injured too okay so we'll take this route and as you have noticed like FST was not able to tackle this situation it's a unique scenario all good we are still learning right so In 500 feet, turn right a very good an exactly. example or use case like you know of this uh, how it, it worked Yeah, 
so it just uh, stopped and was not moving I think which was fine because I think cop cars were stopped so it's probably was thinking that cars are stopped and traffic is not moving so it need to stop as well but it didn't go around the traffic so that is something interesting and I understand this is working on neural network so maybe this is a scenario they may need to or like these type of scenarios they may need to include in the logic so that you know it can work around these things as well in this case it didn't so something which I learned as well that if you come across this kind of situation it's not gonna work so stopping at a stop sign perfect moving forward slowly okay and I'm paying full attention to no issues fine We're approaching Road another left sign that's uh, I mean we have to go to the left from this stop sign perfect very natural moving forward traffic is coming and this lady is letting me go so the car is moving forward so looking at both ways okay perfect perfect I didn't get confused in this scenario oh, man and uh, I mean this is really good I have my foot just next to the pedal and the brake just in case that you know again I'm ready to take over anytime yeah this beep was for that red car I mean uh, the white car that was there I'm just uh, showing here that this car was approaching so it doesn't always do that I try to keep these videos uncut, unedited for you guys pretty much so we can see exactly what the FSD, FSD is doing and if you have to intervene what happened, why you have to intervene, you can see it yourself. So I got this car thinking that I'm going to be going on track and racing a few people do which I've done a few times only but uh, ever since I started using FSD on a daily basis I think that's something which I'm using this car for uh, testing the FSD service every time I drive <laughs> but it's all good the car drives really good and Model S is like one of their top of the line cars quality wise it's good too I didn't expect or like uh, had any issues so far it's been almost six months raining as you can see and we are enjoying our drive using the whole self-driving supervised only two times we had I think nag that we had to tackle but so far not getting the warning
So we'll go to this place to where we are going and then from there I'll drive back towards my gym. So it'll give us some more of a route to observe. Because we have a turn coming up. We're a little too close to the curb here. Let's see how it's gonna make that turn. So this is a red light, but you can turn right on the uh, light. So, okay, no issues so far, fine. The turn was perfect as well. Now we're getting the nag warning. So just touched it and went away. And another warning, but that's for the FSD. That is degraded. Saying that again. So that's a good question, right? If you have an unexpected scenario on some of the roads that you are daily driving on, FST may not be able to you know handle that you may have to jump in and intervene as you've seen We had a road that I, I use some of the times and you know driven on that road a few times using the FST too uh, but um, There was an accident on that road and cops cars were parked so this thing uh, Didn't want to do anything so I took over at that point, right? Uh, so I didn't want to take the detour as well, right? So it was basically still following the navigation. I thought like, you know, uh, it would have uh, noticed that, uh, that there was an accident and would have picked a uh, detour like we did manually. But it's all good, right? Again, it's still a technology that is developing and it's, it has come a long way. Uh, keep on getting these warnings that it's gonna be degraded and poor weather conditions being detected It's gone now the warning and then it comes up again <laughs> So I charged my car to 80% last night again for daily driving So in the Hot weather conditions, the uh, range is a little bit better, I'm noticing. So right now, if you just look at here, it's showing 277 miles of range at 80%, approximately 80% charge, 79% charge. That is still left. So when you charge this car at 100%, which I only do when I'm going really far out of state driving, uh, it is somewhere around 348, 349 miles of range which you are gonna get like somewhere around 310 500 feet, 315 right. depending upon how you drive I never let the car go down to completely zero my lower limit is around like 15 to 20 percent even 15 percent will happen only one time I put it back on the charge when I'm not using it so as you can see we have reached this destination and there is no issue stopping for the person in the front navigation is saying it navigation is complete so let me just put it this direction now and let's go here we end this trip we'll see how it's gonna get out of the parking lot and go to our next location okay so moving forward very slowly turn now people have no patience as you can see behind me somebody who was just uh, getting annoyed it's a parking lot slowing down for people and walking and stuff which is fine it, that is how it should be
put the wipers on automatic mode so as you can see the wipers are on automatic mode they are bringing ai assistant to tesla as well and i i saw some videos about it so at some point it's going to be integrated self-driving integrated again another warning oh an older b100 i think still looks nice Should be coming in the left lane at some point i think unless no actually it's going from another route so I'll give it that again that's just what I think noticing a few different things today when the weather is a little bit different good I'm just looking at the battery on my GoPro is a little bit on the lower end so guys so what do you guys think uh, of today's video let me know your feedback in the comment section down below we saw a different scenario today uh, when something unexpected was there on the road and the FSD was, didn't want to move forward due to like cars that were stopped it didn't even take the detour so I had to manually jump in but other than that I think it's still doing a decent job even in rain and like this kind of weather so I'll keep on observing these things and we'll make more videos about it uh, do consider subscribing as I mentioned and I am gonna see you all and talk to you guys in the next one goodbye